out tonight in full force and voice their concerns about an upcoming construction project. Specifically, they're worried about losing valuable street parking along Winnebago Street when and if the city takes it away to make room for more bicycles. Our Rose Schmidt is live from Winnebago Street this morning with more on the options for that project. Good morning, Rose. Good morning, Danica. Well, there are a number of businesses and houses here on Winnebago Street that would be affected by that construction. That it would extend from Bashford Avenue to South 2nd Street. Now, that's just behind me here. Bashford Avenue is a couple blocks that way. The City Commission has two options for this area. Either narrow the street by two feet and or um, take away street parking on one side of the street, making more room for bicycles. Now, Madison has an extensive network of bike paths about 40 miles or so. The city has invested millions of dollars in constructing those paths and wants to continue that growth. Many people around Madison feel comfortable riding on bike paths or through neighborhoods, but not so comfortable riding their bikes on busy streets next to cars and buses. City officials are trying to make Madison more bike friendly while trying to balance the needs of drivers. We're at this point where if we want to continue to make progress and if we want to continue to have more people biking, we're going to have to start to make those harder choices, which is, you know, trading car parking for, for that all ages and ability bike network. One of Madison's bike policies is to include bike facilities on all new and reconstructed major streets, which would likely affect projects like the upcoming one on Winnebago Street. Now, the city has set goals over the next five years to get more people out of their cars and onto their bikes. That includes things like creating more bike storage and updating bike paths and crossings. Now, the uh, but that, of course, would come with trade-offs. The city's pedestrian, bicycle, and motor vehicle commission is set to meet tonight at 5 o'clock. Certainly a 